Hey everyone, it's the Crazed Loomer. Wait, that's not my introduction anymore because I'm no longer the Crazed Loomer. If you follow me on Instagram, you know. So, I created something today. And it's these cute little ice cream charms and I'm trying to... get them so you can see them good. Okay, it's a bit blurry. And this is what they look like. So there's one, and then there's another. So they are clay. And since I created them, I didn't use any design. I just used a picture off of Instagram and was like, oh cool, that would be cool to create probably. So I figured, why not? So my new introduction is going to be, hey everyone, it's Caitlin. Because my new thing is going to be Caitlin's Crafts. So I'm going to show you how to make these cute clay ice cream. And this one's red and this one's orange. All you'll need is a color for the cone, and I'm using brown. A color for the actual ice cream, and I'm going to use... Um, yellow, I mean, sorry, not yellow, white for vanilla, and <clears throat> if you have any, an eye pin, and I'll show you later what they come in, glaze, and this is what glaze is, I have Sculpey Satin Glaze, um, I just prefer to use Sculpey, but you can also, you, um, do any brand of, um, your clay stuff. And there's also gloss glaze. I just got satin glaze. And if you have that, you'll also need a paintbrush. So grab your supplies and we'll get started. Okay, so for this, you will not want to use your floor or you'll want to use some surface. And I'm just using a laptop desk. This will probably be my new thing even for looming and stuff. So yeah, but... I will be using Sculpey 3 Oven Baked Clay, and it's white. I don't know where it says it. Okay, right there. It says white. And you'll need directions on how long to cook it for and at what um, temperature. But we'll get into that later. So, let me open this real quick. So this is what it looks like, um, I have to cover up the plate, but there's four blocks, so there's three little indents on both sides, but this will be later. Right now you want to get your color for the cone and roll it between your hands into a ball. And you'll, I won't really want this much, oh, and I also meant to say, if you have any kind of of tools they will help out um i like to use these crayola cutting tools if you don't just find something else to cut with because it's easy to cut with it instead of just like trying yourself but make it however big or anything you want it um so once you get it into a ball all you just can roll it against your surface in between your hands it doesn't matter as long as you roll it I'm trying to keep these in here so you can just see them so roll them like that okay so it finished up right there now you're just going to pinch the bottom and I'm not the best at clay. Um, I do always end up giving up because I'm always like, oh, this is way too hard. But this one's not very hard, so I hope you can do it. So it should look really weird like that. Just flatten the top. And you'll want to kind of like pinch everything like this. So you kind of can tell that it looks just like this one. But I like this one more, actually. It's a bit thinner. Um, and I like it with that nice point. So I'm just going to cut it. 
And you can also um, do touch-ups after you put the top of the ice cream on. So mine's a bit messed up. So if yours gets messed up like mine, just roll it again and do the same process. So pinch it, flatten, and then it should look like this. And then I just, if you have already made an ice cream, if this is your second time watching it, um, you can grab your old one and just like try to get it the same way if you liked how it looked but really I don't really care how it looks as long as people can tell it's ice cream I accidentally just flattened it um, so one more time so the cones the only part that I have trouble with I just like it's it gets a bit like tricky because I just want it to be perfect and I want people to be able to be like oh hey look it's an ice cream cone not like what is that so we zoomed in a little bit there so you can see a bit better alright so right now that's what it looks like and that's how I'm going to keep it for now um, but now you just have to roll it but not getting rid of the shape you just want to get rid of those little lines and now mine's all weird again so after you do that you'll probably have to redo it so I'm just gonna do this off camera because I don't want this video to be super long so I'll do it and then I'll let you know what I did all right so this is about how I want mine to be it is a bit smaller but I'll probably do something later but now get the color of well actually first sorry I got a little bit ahead I have to actually make this a bit bigger because of this um, that so I'll be back in another minute okay so um I didn't round this one just because I want to see how it'll look out not rounded so if you have a dotting tool, this part will probably help more, but I don't have one. So all you want to do, though, is just, you can use your finger. I like to use it, my finger. Make a tiny indent right there, just so it's a bit deeper, and it'll help more. So now that you have that, grab your block of white, or whatever color you're doing, your um, ice cream. And then this you don't need a lot for, so just cut a little bit for now. And you're going to, sorry, round it again into a ball. And I just like to do it in between my hands because it's easier, but I'll do it on the table. Or, yeah, I'll just call it a table because it'll be easier. So it should look like this. Now you're going to want to create a triangle, but don't make it too big. Depends how much ice cream you want, so just make it however big you want. Depends how much ice cream you're going to be having. So I'm just going to cut a tiny bit at the bottom off. That wasn't a tiny bit, but that's as much as I kind of wanted to cut off. So create a triangle again. And now that you have a nice triangle, I like to, you can do this with whatever color you want. You can use a piece of scrap. You can use anything, really. I just like to use the color of the ice cream so you won't see it. But just place it right, oh, I've got a little bit of a different color on here. Sorry about that. But you can use, like, nail polish remover or... Um, what was the other thing? You can, I, I haven't tried it, You can, but you can use water. Or you can use uh, just paint to paint it to get rid of the, the dirty stuff. If you want it to be perfect, you can wear gloves, I've heard, and like clean off your area and stuff. So, But anyways, now put that little triangle 
right in the center of that indent, and I didn't make mine big enough, so we the indent isn't like a really mandatory thing. I just like to do it because um, it makes it easier to wrap around and stuff. Get some more white. Roll it into a ball. Sorry, I did that off camera. But then just roll it and roll it and roll it and roll it until you get however thick or thin, wide, however you want your ice cream to be. And I don't have enough, I don't feel like. So I'm going to get a bit more and redo that. I just like to wrap it around like three times because, and then like you see three swirls and then there's a little one on the top which I will show you in a minute. If I knew how to edit music or stuff into here, I would whenever I don't talk, but right there I have that little thing right there, and also right there. I like that part, but it only has, like, goes right here, and then one, two, three, and then that, but now grab your, um, little snake stick thingy, um, and start wherever you want, and just set it down and start wrapping around and wherever you meet that again just try to get it as far down as you can without like trying to ruin it and then just keep wrapping up and soon you'll meet like the end of that and whenever you do just want to close it up and this one has more that's the fourth it looks like So that's what it looks like. Um, like I said, you can adjust this. The um, uh, cone. Sorry, brain fart there. And I'm going to. So, just because I'd like it to look a bit better. And then whenever you're done with this, I'll just get to that while I'm fixing this. You're going to want to put it on a baking sheet or a cookie sheet or whatever you call it. And, um, do not do that yet. <laughs> Sorry. If you have eye pins, this is what an eye pin it looks like. And then, my containers are obviously already open because I've made many things before. And, like, a bunch are falling out right now if you're hearing the little clink. Um... This is what they come in, and that's what they look like. So just grab one. It's all you'll need, obviously. Just stick it right into the top or the side or wherever you want. And this allows you to be able to make a nice, cute charm or like, attach it to a bracelet or anything, but you can do whatever you want. And if you want, you can add like sprinkles or M&Ms or anything. Just make it however you want, however cool you want it to be. So just put it on a baking sheet and cook it for however long it says, and I will go cook mine, and I'll be back whenever it's done. Okay, so to be honest, this one, this was my very first one I made. It's probably my favorite. It looks so good. It just turned out perfect. Then this was my second. It's not glazed yet. I'll probably glaze it in this video. This is probably my worst. Um... It, like, all melted off in the back, and it didn't turn out amazing. Like, it didn't come to a point, and it's just not my really favorite, but it's all right. Um, you know, everybody has their mistakes. So, now grab your glaze, and once again, I use Satin Glaze of Sculpey 3. And you'll, you'll, you're going, <laughs> you're going to need a nice paintbrush to apply it so just open your glaze you're going to want to close it right after but um, make sure your paintbrush isn't all like 
got the stuff in it and stuff, so <laughs> that sounded weird, but make sure it's all nice and fresh. So just dip it in a tiny bit, like up to there, and then you don't need a lot at all. But just rub it on. And I just like to do the top of the ice cream. So I'm just doing my white. And then I'm just going to prop it up. Just so it won't get bothered at all. And then I'm going to also do this one real quick. Just so once again you can watch. And I like this one because it makes it look like really nice and... Like, you can kind of see, whenever the light hits it, it's all shiny and really nice. So, I'm just going to wipe that off. And then, rub it all in, make sure it's all good. And now I'm going to go set it aside again. So, we'll put it right there. Alright, so now that you have your ice cream done, I really hope you enjoyed it. And I know it's a bit confusing about the whole me changing and everything, but this will be the last time probably. Um, so yeah, you're going to want to wash this off just so you know. So I hope you enjoyed that and I just set them in my clay just so they could be propped up. And just since those two are there, might as well put the orange sherbet one in. So this one's orange sherbet. This one can be raspberry or cherry. I didn't mean to touch the top. Whoops. And then this one's obviously vanilla. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. It was very fun to do it with you all. Um, if you want more clay, um, comment below. If there's anything else you want, like duct tape or anything, also comment. And I will be having more videos in the future. So, bye everybody, and have a nice night and a good weekend.